We've seen death. We've seen disability. We've seen disfigurement. We've seen deprivation. We've seen destitution from snake bite. At the moment, as a minister for this county, I am extremely worried. I'm scared. I don't know what will happen. C'est une réalité quotidienne, une course pour traverser un paysage isolé, accidenté et impitoyable, tout en sachant que les traitements sont peut-être à plusieurs heures ou jours de là. Can you imagine the distress of help running from your home? perhaps in the night with a child on your back, suffering from snake bites, screaming in pain. Et quand bien même vous arrêtez un véhicule en espérant rejoindre l'hôpital, qui dit que l'hôpital disposera de l'antivenin à même de sauver la vie de votre fille? This is the only one left? Mm -hmm. You mean this is the only one left in the whole hospital? Antivenom is very scarce. It comes and then it gets finished. Then we stay without it for some time. Tous les jours, c'est un chagrin qui ne disparaît jamais, celui de votre enfant enterré près de la maison. Encore une vie volée durant la nuit. Et sa sœur laissée a connu le même destin. Elle aussi a été piquée par le cobra qui s'était glissé dans leur lit. Sa main est gravement déformée. Elle est aveugle, elle ne peut plus marcher. Elle ne se mariera jamais. Encore une victime innocente, privée d'une vie heureuse et prospère. Tous les jours, c'est une dévastation sans fin. Au sud de l'Inde, un cultivateur de noix de coco regarde quelqu'un d'autre grimper dans les arbres qu'il escaladait autrefois. C'est le varassou et sa femme croulent sous les dettes. Ils se séparent du peu qu'ils possèdent pour garder leurs enfants à l'école. Most victims of snake bite are amongst the most impoverished levels of the community. They are nearly all agricultural workers, farmers, herdsmen, who live in a snake-infested environment. and the city dwellers may be genuinely ignorant of the plight of people who live perhaps only a few miles away and who are the food producers for the country. It's a huge cost that you cannot imagine. But then they have to sell and dispose of all the assets that are in the family to ensure that this person is taken care of. Partout dans le monde, comme dans ce village du centre du Kenya, l'appel à l'aide n'est pas entendu. Mais en fait, les voilà les véritables pleurs. Cette petite fille de 3 ans n'ira pas jouer avec les autres aujourd'hui. Au lieu de cela, et plusieurs fois par semaine, sa plaie doit être soignée. Dans quelques mois, elle subira une importante greffe de peau. Many major health challenges of the past are now being dealt with with subsidized treatments. The world has the capacity to deal with these problems. We've got neglected tropical diseases that are no longer being neglected, and that's important. But today, 342 snake bite victims across the tropics are going to be taken from their families. We know 125,000 people die each year from snake bite. And two to three times that number are left without limbs. They're maimed, disabled, or permanently disfigured. And those are the people who actually make it to a hospital to be counted. 
whatever the numbers may be, the true figures go beyond any data, beyond any study. The only way you can truly understand snake bite is to walk into any hospital or any village. Everybody knows somebody who's had their lives turned upside down. Snake bite is something that they fear more than malaria or tuberculosis, or in some cases, even more than HIV AIDS. Du Vietnam au Pakistan, de la République centrafricaine à l'Amérique latine, si on coloriait sur une carte du monde les pays qui comptent plus de 1000 victimes de morsures de serpents par an, la carte serait vite bariolée. Si à cela on ajoute les pays qui comptent plus de 50 victimes par an, alors l'urgence de la situation saute aux yeux. If we are to save lives, our limbs, this is the time for the whole world to wake up to this important problem that has for many years lingered with no interest. Realistically, the best long-term strategy is to prevent snake bites, not have to treat them in the first place. We have scientists, doctors, advocates all around the world who fight for these people on a daily basis. Educating people on the ground to encourage the simple use of footwear, training rural health workers, and even teaching people that visiting a traditional healer is not necessarily of any use. And of course, we have effective and affordable antivenoms that have been developed and are making huge differences in places like West Africa, Latin America, even here in Papua New Guinea. We have the tools to make change now. It is about time that snake bite is stopped being ignored by the world. It's a matter of human rights, it's a matter of social responsibility, it's a matter of using science for what it should be used for the well-being of people. Nobody should die of snake bite.